It is a common side effect to COVID-19. People losing their sense of taste or smell for weeks. And Karina, some people say even months. Yeah, they're not getting it back yet. But we spoke to one doctor who says there might be some simple steps that you can take to try to bring that sense back. It started out as uh, uh, like a chest cold. I thought that sometimes I, I get a little respiratory inflammation when I get a sinus infection and thought I had a sinus infection. When I but started. it wasn't a sinus uh, infection for Todd Regal. That, it was COVID-19, the telling symptoms for him, a loss of smell and taste. I think one day it, I noticed when I was drinking grape juice that, I was like, boy, this, this is, has no taste to it. And then a day later, I, I noticed that my smell was gone as well. While this might seem like a minor symptom, Todd says it's been tough. It just gets annoying. It's frustrating. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, trying to enjoy a meal or something to drink and there's no taste there, but. Now viral videos on the popular app TikTok suggest smell training as an option for recovery. One of the, the studies that I read had folks smelling, you know, seven or eight different scents uh, a couple times a day. Over the Dr. Stephen Smith with months, Smith Facial Plastics sure says smell rehabilitation is actually a real thing. Brain has plasticity and that's the opportunity to remodel. So if you can, if you can retrain uh, your, your brain and your neural pathways to to smell again, you'll you'll likely get a in all likelihood a, a better recovery. There is still so much being studied when it comes to the coronavirus, but as for training your sense back, here's his advice. You certainly can't hurt yourself by uh, you know smelling eucalyptus, lemon, cinnamon, chocolate, and and whatever else you choose to smell. So I I, I would say you know why why wouldn't you do it because it's you know it's certainly not a harmful therapy by any means.